Okay, we're gonna swap the vanity. Got a brand new one. Sink. She wants to use the old uh, hardware. Theoretically, this is good. We have to change that valve there because uh, it's dripping. There's an internal valve. We'll have to swap that. Anyway, this one's gone. The psychedelic one is gone. Out with the 70s. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is take the cupboards out. Disconnect the drain. Shut the water off. Disconnect the water lines. We'll look up in here and see if we see anything that makes it connected to the wall. And we can pull on it a little bit and see. And we can see that it's not connected anywhere. It's just this hard tile top makes it kind of stay in place. I had to pull this cove uh, base off. And should be able to pull this thing out of here. I got cardboard on the floor so I don't scratch the floor. I'm going to probably put some towels down too. Luckily these valves are shutting all the way off. Might want to check that particularly if you're in an apartment complex. Because uh, you don't want to have to mess with water shut off too much because <coughs> you have to shut the water off for, for everybody down the line. And this one's actually dripping just a little bit. And you got to be really careful with these things because if you have to shut the water off to an apartment complex, it gets tricky. Looks like it stopped dripping. No, not quite. I may have to leave this connected or put some sort of cap on it. Uh, get a cap and uh, it is still leaking a little bit. I don't want to tweak on these too hard. You might see a catastrophe here in a minute. But anyway, uh, seems to have stopped dripping, but let's take a watch at it and see. Should be fine. Should be fine, I say. A couple of drops here and there might not hurt. If I can do the swap fast enough. Looks like no drips at this point. So let's pull this puppy out of here. Okay, so we got the top off. I pulled the top off. It's not leaking. The vanity is falling apart though when I pull it out. Uh, gonna put this on uh, Craigslist, I think. Put some screws in it, get it back together, and uh, try and salvage this. And we have the old one, which I think we need to salvage this drain and this faucet up here. Take this all apart, use that same one, and uh. That sink, I'm not using that sink, it's built in. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, plot thickens. I'm going to have to let that dry and sand that because it's not very smooth on the back. Although, the new vanity should cover it up. Uh, I'm going to use some tiles, some small tiles to, for a backing uh, back glass. And uh, I, I was trying to pull that faucet off this thing. The guy had everything glued in. All the screws and stuff were glued in. Um, that was a lot of fun getting that faucet off. And so I had to pull... I'm going to have to pull this old linoleum up. And I'm just going to put new uh, linoleum or vinyl flooring, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I had to pull the, uh, the base off. And I marked the bases, so I've got those, so I know where they go. Um, I just need to pull, and then I found out this door. The floor is, of course, uneven, and this door doesn't shut very well. It hangs up right here. And you can see it's almost like the hinges are binding. Um, but I think it's catching right here, because there's a high spot right there. I'm going to have to cut that door down uh, to make this work. Yeah, it's catching right here. So I'm going to pull that off and pull this floor up 
And I put this on Craigslist. Somebody's going to buy this one for pennies on a dollar. So this one actually has a solid wood front. This is no doubt. That might be solid. I'm thinking probably not. It's just a thick coating. Does not have shelves. This one has uh, in the drawers, which is kind of nice. Gives you that extra space you could use, but it's nice and shiny. And so yeah, just need to cut this piece. I gotta. The boss wasn't around to accept the charge, but I got a new piece for this for that kitchen. I'm gonna put in there after I pull this up. Okay, here's a hot tip. Pun intended. So you're trying to pull this linoleum up. You can see here, half of it came up and half of it didn't. And so what we want to try and do is pull it all up. You pull on this edge, you see most of it came off, but it's still hanging up a little bit. So the hot tip is the heat gun. So we're going to take and heat this up real good. And then see if it's going to pull it off. Got a flat scraper. I'm going to kind of get under there and scrape away a little bit and see what happens. Okay, so the way to do it is get it, get yourself started. Go under there and make a big kind of gap so you can get that air under there. Get the heat, air, heat under there, basically. Okay, that took a little bit of time. Taking all that off. Some of it's still stuck. So I'm going to have to get this off here. This scraper, it's still a little bit pliable. And so they ran the new linoleum, whatever, final flooring, over the old stuff. Except in the bathroom here. They kept the old bathroom flooring. Um, so anyway, I uh, probably still have to cut the store down just a little bit because we got this little doodad here we got to put on. And we're getting there. I'm going to have to add like a quarter inch of plywood on this floor because this is, for some reason, they built this up. And so we got to build this up to match the height. Okay, we're getting there. I got the new piece cut put in. These, these valves still leak a little bit. But, uh, yeah, so basically all I have to do is glue it down. Uh, put some silicone on that uh, edge right there and some on this edge just to make sure the water doesn't get underneath it and uh, so yeah all I have to do is uh, put the uh, vanity in and uh, sink together and uh, hook up the plumbing. Okay here's the way I glue this linoleum down. Basically you get this uh, little screeder thing, put it down, go liberal along the edges where the near the tub so uh this uh little corners and stuff get filled with it and that way you don't have any water seeping down in there underneath and then just lay this down and then start the other end pretty easy okay there it is just need to plumb it up put the base on and uh should be good this is actually a little flimsy. You can see the, the load off. And uh, I'll have to uh, fix that when I uh, attach it to the wall there. That's, uh, okay, so uh, we got uh, dropping the camera. So this doesn't particularly line up. I think I'm going to have to get a longer one of these or a longer one of these or put a little sleeve in between, a joint. Um, these were a little tricky. Had some old uh, nuts on there to hold it, but uh, we got that far anyway. Um, this has got this new kind of thing on it. I've never seen one of these before for the drain uh, hookup. I'm not gonna hook that up until I get that other joint sleeve for that. But uh, otherwise, all I have to do is put the base on, the door back on. Um, bolt this thing up so it's connected to the wall so it's 
on a straight like that. And uh, okay, there it is. Pretty much done. And so thanks for watching, guys. If I can do it, you can do it better.